Uh, so for number 14, it's saying suppose the 12 vectors start from 6 o'clock at the bottom instead of um, 0, 0 at the center. Uh, so if it ha starts from 6 o'clock at the bottom, what we're going to have here is we're going to have these vectors that go like so. And so we can see that they're going to be cancelled um, horizontally, right? Because it's like I'm, I'm pulling to the left with the same intensity that I'm pulling to the right. Um, same thing here pulls uh, horizontally with the same, I guess you could imagine it as a force. So we're still going to be zero. Our resultant is still going to be zero in my x, right? So what I can say, the resultant is going to be zero in my x. However, what about my y? Well, now I have nothing canceling out on my y because what is happening here is that I just keep adding these and they just keep getting bigger and bigger, right? So, how can we how can we think about this? Well, to begin with, we have the length that goes from here to there. So that's going to be two, right? Because, um, oops, this here is the length of one, and that is the length of one. So we're gonna have a length of two plus. Um, let's see. So the distance, the distance down here to up there. This is almost two. We're only missing a little chunk here. However, this little chunk is symmetrical to the one down here. So we can say here that, hey, just speaking vertically, if I add the vertical height from this one and the vertical height, uh, from the vertical height from down here to up there, that is going to give me two, right? Because of the symmetry here. So we can pair these vectors and say, okay, these give me plus two, and then same thing, same thing for this one, this vector, and this vector here. It's like to get to get uh, from this vector, the vertical components, to get it to two, I am missing, um, because of the symmetry, it's like I'm missing this height right here. So if I pair them up, that is also going to give me um, plus, plus two, right? So it's just like I pair these up, and then we can see here that this one that this one over here it doesn't have a pair but this height here is going to be exactly one so that's going to be plus two plus two plus two plus one and now we're going to do it on the opposite side once more the height from here to here that's just going to be one so plus one and then i'm going to have these pairs here where this one plus that one their vertical heights is going to give me two so plus two and then i'm going to have um let's see this one here plus that one there, and these vertical heights are going to give me two by symmetry, so plus two. Um, and if you want if you want to really convince yourself that this is the case, you can decompose these um, individually. You can find the sine and cosine, um, but that would, would be too much trouble here. So we can see that the total vertical height that they're going to have is going to be, let's see, two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus one plus one, so that's going to give us 12. So the resultant is zero, 12. Um, another way that you could have thought of it is instead of uh, looking at each vector at like combinations of the vectors, you could also think that the only difference is that um, all the vectors gained one in the J, right? Because previously they were at the center, so now they gained one in the J. So you're going to have um, 12 times each one, uh, times one in the J for each one. So that is it for number 14.